You've clicked on this video because you probably want to change your life. You're probably unhappy with your current state, whatever it is, and you want to change for the better. I hope that this video gives you valuable insights into exactly how you can do that. Before this video starts, I want you to ask yourself, why do you want to change? There's a reason as to why you've clicked on this video. So tell yourself and answer yourself exactly why you want to change. Is it because you're unhappy with your current state financially, maybe physically, maybe it's something else? What's the reason as to why you want to change? Now that's out the way, here's how to actually change your life. First of all, you're probably asking yourself, who the fuck am I and why should you even listen to me? And that's completely valid and I understand the point because I question YouTube videos all the time. I changed the entire trajectory of my life in 2024. At the start of the year, I was working for my dad's company. My dad had a business with two other business partners and I was working alongside the managing director. For the past four years, I was there working from a marketing executive and an admin at the very start after I left university or I graduated from university into essentially managing projects. So I was a contract manager, managing multiple projects at once, making sure that everything went smoothly. And my responsibilities were basically taking them from the very initial inquiry to the very end to a point where that whole role merged into me running the business day to day because the managing director didn't have a fucking clue what was going on. And I'll be completely honest with you, at the end of last year, 2023, I came to the managing director and I said, look, I want equity in the business. They didn't want to give me the equity. The three partners didn't want to. Obviously, one of them is my dad. He actually wanted to give me business and equity, but the others didn't really want to. So I said, look, there's no point of me being here. I don't see a future in the business. I don't want to work in this business. And as you can imagine, that was very, very tough for me because this is my dad's business. I was working directly for my dad. I was contributing massively to the success of the business. And I knew that as soon as I stepped away, with the state that the managing director was in, the business would very quickly go down the shitter. And that's exactly what happened. I went from full-time employment to running my agency full-time in less than five months. From January till March, 17th of March was the exact date where I sent a WhatsApp message. As you can see here, this is the exact picture that I took on a walk with my girlfriend. And that is the day that I sent a WhatsApp message into the group saying that 19th of April is going to be my last day. And that was it. This was taken on the 19th of April. And as you can see, a massive visual difference. If you look at the pictures at the very start of the year, where you can see me pretty upset, depressed. I really didn't have any vision as to where the end of the year was going to go. So I decided to jump straight into things. I started working on my agency and I started putting blocks into place. And on the 19th of April was my last day. And this was the photo that I took. Why am I telling you all of this? I'm just giving you my entire story from this year. And why do you really care? Well, I'm telling you because you can change your life too. And it's not like I'm giving you a rags to riches story where, oh, at the start of the year, I didn't have anything and now I've made my first ever million and here I am sitting on a high chair looking down on you and saying, you can change your life too. No, I'm a completely normal, average human being. I come from an immigrant family. We've been in the UK for over 20 years and I've changed my life. I've taken the risk that many dream of doing and leaving the full-time job to run a business I just want to motivate with this video. I want this to be an inspiration to those that want to change their life and have always longed for a better life and have dreamed of something better for themselves, but they were just lost. They didn't really know what to look at, what things to consider when wanting to change things. And I understand the overwhelm that comes with the decision to actually change your life. I now run a marketing agency where we focus on lead generation for the construction industry. In the simplest terms, I take my client's money and I pair the skill that I have, which is media buying on social, which is Facebook and Instagram, and I turn that money from, let's say, a thousand pounds to 10,000 to 15 to 200,000, depending on the average order value, right? In the simplest terms, I make more money for my clients through putting their company and their services in front of potential buyers online. It's a simple that. It's a simple skill, yet a very sought-after skill that many cannot fathom and they don't understand. I document everything online and I've documented every single thing 
this year from the very beginning of starting my agency to literally last week when I signed a client. Like everything's documented, everything's on YouTube, everything is on Instagram, everything's on TikTok too. There is so many day in life on TikTok where you can go back and check and you can see exactly what I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And so if you're interested in my story and learning a little bit more, I encourage you to check out these three platforms that I'm on alongside my newsletter, which is posted every single Sunday, 6 p.m. It's a fucking value-packed newsletter. I don't sell you anything on there. I send you an email once a week at 6 p.m. Anything in regards to self-improvement, mindset, discipline, social media marketing and agencies, etc. So if you're interested, go and check that out. I'm sure you can find the link in the description. The first thing you want to focus on when you want to change your life is your actual skill set. You must have heard of all these stories of all these millionaires going to shit, losing everything, losing the families, losing all the assets, losing all the cars, houses, money, etc., etc. And yet they still bounce back. Well, they bounce back because they have skills and they have something that is very, very valuable. It's one of the most valuable things a human can possess. Their skill set and their knowledge. In my personal opinion, here are some of the skills that are going to absolutely crush it in 2025 and they're going to be in high demand. The first one, it speaks for itself, is automation and AI. A lot of us are ignoring AI and I have been very late to the train and the very big hype of AI. And yet... I've still implemented it into my agency and I've seen massive success. AI is something that is here to stay. AI and artificial intelligence and automation, pack them two together, build a skill and understand how it works. And if you can implement this, package it up as a service, more on that on my actual YouTube channel, etc. So go and check those out. But if you actually turn this skill of AI and automation, you're able to make a fuck ton of money and actually change your life. The next thing is paid social. And by paid social, I mean advertising on social media. Social media basically means there's attention. Wherever there's attention, there's money to be made. And social media is one of those things. It's super important, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Threads, whether it's X, there are different ways. I mean, Threads you can't advertise on, but regardless, there's still attention in all these different platforms and channels, etc. Social media is fucking important and you need to understand it. You're on it right now. You're on YouTube. It's part of social media, right? If you understand how to advertise in these platforms, people are going to pay you massive, massive money. And I actually have a blueprint that teaches you everything that I know when it comes to lead generation on Facebook. This is how I make my living. So everything that I've learned over the past four years of doing this as a freelancer and as an agency owner this year, everything is in one 50 page document. It's full of value and if you're interested in learning and actually possessing a skill that is very valuable to businesses, go and check it out. The last thing is content marketing. This is something that is so, so important and there's been a massive trend over the past couple of years, especially when it comes to content, personal brands and creating engaging content. A lot of brands have hopped on content and UGC this year alone and moving forward, this is only going to get bigger. If you understand how to make engaging content that converts someone from a viewer to a sale, you are going to absolutely crush it. Content is absolutely crucial. It's exactly what you're watching right now, and it's exactly what you're going to be watching in years to come, whether it's on your laptop screen, on your phone, or whether it's on your sunglasses, or whatever it is in the future. It's still going to be there. You're still going to be entertained, and you're still going to want to watch content. If you're able to market businesses, brands, generate sales through content, it's an absolutely incredible skill to have. The second thing is your habits. I want you to not waste your time. I want you to understand that wasting time is probably the biggest killer ever when it comes to potential. There's not an infinite amount of time that you have. You don't know how much time you have. So you have to act with urgency when it comes to making decisions, when it comes to wanting to change your life. You can't just put it off to the next Monday because you don't know how long you have left. But I know it's not pleasant to hear, but it's very true. Unfortunately, we're not going to live forever. Some of us have a lot shorter lives than others. So you need to make every single day count. I want you to do hard things in life. I want you to put yourself into 
situations that aren't the most comfortable, they're not fuzzy and warm and comforting situations because that's not where you grow as a person. That's your comfort zone. That is just there for you to feel fine. If you focus on doing the hard things, that's exactly where growth comes in. You grow as a person when you do hard things in life. And this is one of the most important things that I've ever done in my life. I decided to take life by its fucking balls and actually focus on doing hard shit. As you can see on the left, and I do apologize for the half-naked pictures, but as you can see on the left, fat, chubby, depressed, very upset with the way I was looking, feeding my face with just a bunch of different shit, and I wasn't operating well. In the middle and on the right, you can see much better progress. I know it's visual, and I know it's difficult to understand, but the clarity that I gained from losing weight, from eating properly, from exercising daily, it's absolutely ridiculous. I just felt like a totally, totally different person. But through hard things is exactly how you grow, and how you do anything is how you do everything. And this is a quote that Bedros Koulian says in his podcast very often, and it's a very, very, very important quote, and it's something that you need to understand. How you do anything is how you do everything. I want you to just understand this quote. It's super powerful, it's super important, and when it comes to the tiniest little tasks, if you're slacking on them, you're going to slack on the big tasks. The next thing I want you to do is to stop playing video games. And this is by far the one that always triggered me the most because I am a gamer. I always loved gaming through my very young ages and teenage years and even until, until probably about 25, I was playing video games all the fucking time. And I realized that I was wasting most of my life. Genuinely, if you're over the age of 25 and you're playing video games on a day-to-day -day basis and you're coming from work and you're just sitting in and you're playing video games and that's it, what the fuck are you doing with your life? There's so many different things you can do in life. You can go enjoy the simplest things such as a fucking walk outside with your dog. There's so many different little things in life that you can you can taste, you can explore, you can try, and you can experience, and you're just fucking wasting your time playing video games. Now, I'm not coming at those that play a couple hours a week, right? That's completely fine. We all need to switch off. We all need to understand that there's time to rest, to recover, to switch off, and to go again the next day, right? Video games might be a way of you passing that time. Maybe it's on a weekend, on a Sunday evening, where you've done a whole week of work. You've been working on your business, on your goals, on your mindset, etc. You just want to play Red Dead, for example, for a couple of hours. Completely fine. Or you want to jump on FIFA with the lads, or Counter-Strike, or uh, Call of Duty, whatever it is, right? But if you want to change your life, and you're watching videos like this, yet you're playing video games most of your days, and you're spending hours on hours on hours, then you need to stop. Seriously, you need to stop. The next thing is you want to stop doom scrolling. And this is one that hurts because we all do it. Whether we want to admit it or not, we all fucking do it. We all pick up the phone and switch from app to app and pick the and put the phone back down. Mm -hmm. And then another two, three minutes go by and we do the same thing again. And then we start scrolling and we don't even know what we're watching, yet we're still scrolling. And this is how good the algorithms are at capturing your attention. We need to focus on this. And one thing that I have for this is Opal, which is an app that basically blocks social media or the selected apps for a certain amount of time. I definitely recommend you go and check it out. If you want to change your life, you need to chase real dopamine. And I said this before, it's hard workouts, it's walks outside, it's cold showers, it's reading and learning something new. Those are the bits of dopamine that your brain needs. It's not opening TikTok and flicking through and watching a bunch of stupid videos and videos that don't mean anything, like it's pointless. You need to chase real dopamine, whether it's going out for a walk, whether it's challenging yourself on a run, whether it is picking up a new hobby or a sport, moving your body, listening to some different type of music. Those are pieces of dopamine that you want to be chasing. And finally, you want to build real habits. This is a very important one. And this comes down to an identity check because your habits are your identity. 
if your habits are to become a healthier person, well then you need to think like a healthy person. You need to be that person. Your identity needs to be a healthy person. That means you're not going to go and smash McDonald's or a Donna kebab on the weekend. That means you're going to fuel your body with foods that are going to exactly fuel it. It's going to fuel your days. It's going to fuel, fuel your brain, your workouts, and it's going to be a habit that lasts a lifetime because it's your identity. And one of the last things that you want to focus on when you want to change your life is your environment. The first one is your friends because the saying goes, right? Everybody's heard it before. You are the average of the five people that you hang around with, which is completely true. And no matter how many times people are going to try and dispute that saying, it is true. So you need to focus on who you hang around with. You don't need to cut people off completely and remove them out of your life, but it might mean that you need to spend a lot less time with them. Your immediate environment is another very important aspect. And your immediate environment is this. It's your office. It's your bedroom. Have you made your bed? Have you cleaned up the clothes off the floor? Have you got a bunch of empty water bottles on your desk? Have you got a load of pieces of paper that are just cluttering your mind space and just ruining the vibe within your office and your environment? Because that is super, super important. If you want to produce productive work, whether that is for your business, whether that is for your job, whether that is for your hobby, you need to have a clear, immediate environment. Your social media following is another one. And I actually had a conversation with my fitness coach about this the other day because I've been on this journey of self-improvement for over five years now. And over the past three years, it's taken a very toxic turn. And I want to speak about this to inform you that it's not all sunshine and rainbow and you're going to be the best version of yourself and that's it. Because I removed every single person off my social media out of my life and everything that didn't serve my purpose of becoming a better version and didn't add to my life, I very quickly removed. And over the past three years, I've come to the realization, especially over the past two months, that I haven't got much anymore. I've removed most people out of my life. I've removed most meme pages. I've removed all types of laughter of social media and Quite frankly, the pendulum has swung the other way where on one end, it was literally just memes, funny videos, time wasting, playing video games to a point where I swung it the other way and it turned out to just be David Goggins, George Heaton, Alex Hermosi, um, Naval Ravikant and those types of figures and, you know, fitness and discipline, motivation and grind and hustle and all this focus on becoming a better version and becoming a business owner, etc. And whilst, yes, I want to associate myself with those types of people, I inspire to become the best version of myself because these guys are chasing the best versions of themselves. It's still swung so far towards that way where I just removed everything. And I think finding a balance in between this all is very, very important. So I want you to just focus a little bit more on your social media following. Who are you following? Are you just following stupid pages that don't add to your life, that don't educate you, that don't inform you about things? And are you actually learning on social media when you're spending your time on it? Or are you just scrolling away, doom scrolling, as we say, and wasting your time? Another thing is where you live. And it's something that I've, again, been focusing on a lot recently because I currently live in my hometown where I've spent 20 years or so now and I'm very tired of it and I want to move to a bigger city where there's more opportunities, where there's more people that I can network with, more friends that I can make and overall become a person where I can be inspired by the environment around me. And unfortunately, in the town that I live in, I am not inspired at all. So same goes to you if you're living in an area where you're not inspired, where you're not motivated by the outside, or maybe it's a very terrible area to live in, then I urge you to do everything and anything in your power to move to a better place. To change your life, you need to understand what you can actually control. Here's a list of everything that you can control. You can control how you spend your time, your effort that you put into things, your vision and what you actually want in your life, your habits, what you're actually doing on a day-to-day -day basis that we've already covered, your health, what you're putting into your mouth, your friends, who you're associating with, 
your attitude towards things, your honesty, your humility, your mindset, your network of people around you, your integrity, your thoughts, whether you're actually thinking things or you're just floating through life doing fucking anything and any and everything, your reactions to things, your emotions, your decisions that you make based on those emotions, your expenses, where you actually spend your money and how you spend your money, your dedication that you put into things, whether you half-ass things or whether you just go at things 100%. And finally, your perspective. You have to stay accountable to yourself because nobody else cares. And as unfortunate as it sounds, nobody is going to come and save you. And you've definitely heard that one before, but it's true. It's the reality. Nobody is going to change things for you. You need to do it for your future self.